I read a post somewhere that uh, someone had installed Fedora Server and it wasn't using the full disk. Um, I read up on it and I see that that's the way it does by default. Um, if you select the automatic partitioning during the install and just accept all the defaults, it's going to install itself but not use all of your disk space. Let's see what version I have here. All right, this is for so Fedora thir <laughs> This is Fedora Server 35 with the default install and I selected automatic partitioning. I do an F disk. I see that I have a 40 gig disk which would seem normal. But then right below that, there is a logical volume that is only 15 gigs. And if I do a, if I do a mount, I can see that my root is mounted and it is a XFS file system. So the default installation selected FS, XFS as the file system. So I wanted to figure out why it was doing this and not using the entire disk. And the solution was to simply read uh, the instructions for the installation. Um, if you go to the fedoraproject.org site, there's, an, um, there's a link here that tells you what the default partitioning does. And if you scroll down here, basically what it's telling you is that the default install will take the entire disk and make a, um, a volume group. And from that volume group, it will create a 15 gig logical volume for your root file system. So that's the way it's designed to work. And if I go over and look at the system, I have a physical volume there of less than 39 gigs, which is the 40 gig drive. I have a volume group there called Fedora underscore Fedora, which is also the same size. But when I go look at my logical volumes, I see that I only have a 15 gig logical volume. Now you can either go to the install and do manual on the partitioning, or you can just extend the logical volume onto the remaining space. Um, the command that you use, well, it's not extend, I'm sorry. You could resize the logical volume onto the rest, the rest of the free space. And the command you use is LV resize. And we want to look at, there's an option here. This dash R will also let you resize the file system at the same time. So you can resize the logical volume, and then you can make another step of um, resizing the file system, or you can do it all in one step. You can have it resize the logical volume and resize the file system. And again, this is only with the default install if you selected the automatic partitioning. So the command that we would use, well, we need our, we need our logical volume name. And that name is dev slash fedora underscore fedora slash root. So you will have to Google this command to resize the logical volume. And I made a note of it here. LV resize dash L plus. And then the name of our logical volume. 
which is slash dev slash Fedora. And I'm going to use the dash R option here to have it go ahead and resize the file system as well. Gives you some information there. It tells you it's resizing and it does not show any type of errors. So if I do a LB display, I can now see that that logical volume is 39 gigs in size. And if I do a DF-H, I can see now that my root partition is the full 39 gigs, which is the full size of the drive. So it's not a bug, it's not an error, it's just the way the program is designed to install if you select automatic partitioning. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.